I love Mexico. I have felt so welcome and warmed by so many people. Returning to Mexico City after more than 50 years, the Tabernacle Choir and Orchestra at Temple Square making history as they kicked off their world tour. Their message, one of hope, or as they said to the Mexican people, esperanza. The music is really the best language. It is the only universal language, actually, with the spirit. So when you have the music and the spirit together, uh, there are no barriers anymore, no cultural barriers. At the same time, we feel like Mexicans today. Divinamente maravilloso. Es algo que no esperábamos vivir así y de verlo en vivo y en directo. During the two-night performance, some 20,000 people filled the National Auditorium. It's the same place they performed in back in 1972. But since then, a lot has changed. There are places in the world that need this message of hope and a testimony of Jesus Christ and where people are reaching out to embrace it. The choir's mission is expanding to reach people throughout the world. <laughs> That's right. Concert tickets were available to everyone free of charge. Giving this concert as a gift to the people, it was an outright free will offering of the choir. It's part of the choir's experiment. For the first time ever, Saturday's concert was streamed live on YouTube. Around the country, watch parties were set up. And on YouTube, more than 120,000 views so far. We were embraced by Mexico. But Mexico isn't the only place. Thousands of people tuned in across Central and South America and around the globe. There are so many aspects of what we've been doing that I think really will reach so many more people than just those who are able to come and hear the live concert. Camera. The choir and orchestra members also participated in a music video, a special tribute to Mexico, its culture and its people. The video features landmarks around Mexico City and Toluca, where the choir offered its first concert at the Cathedral of Toluca. Esta fue una experiencia y un abrazo de Dios para todos nosotros. En esta casa construida para la gloria de Dios, ha sido casa común hoy para dos grandes familias que creemos en Jesús. Pensamos muchos, como lo piensan también los hermanos de la Iglesia de Jesucristo, de los santos de los últimos días, que hoy nos está diciendo el Señor que hemos de estar más sólidos en esa unidad. Todo el agradecimiento del mundo por este generoso donativo de semillas y alimento a la, a la Iglesia de Jesucristo de los santos de los últimos días. As a gesture of goodwill, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the sponsoring organization of the choir, also provided 15 tons of food to Caritas, the Catholic Church's humanitarian arm for shelters that provide refuge to thousands of people traveling through Mexico. I was born in a different country, not my country, and uh, all the family, we were uh, migrants. I remember so well the love of the people around us. Because of that, I really understand how the migrants feel during the travels in our country. So we would like to help them in some way. Thank you. I've been in tears many, many times, and they have just treated us like angels. There's something special here that I hadn't seen previous to this. The choir brought that same magic to their historic performances at the National Auditorium. The repertoire ranged from hymnals to Latin American favorites, sung by Adasa, the voice of Disney character Dolores Madrigal. La vida es un carnaval. Todos podemos cantar. Then the audience grew still as acclaimed radio host Mariano Osorio shared a message of hope from his own personal experience. Lo único que tenemos para vivir es la fe y la esperanza. 
The message that was shared by our guest artist, Mariano Osorio, is a very tender story about his, his life and the loss of his wife to cancer and how he has been able to move forward with faith and with hope. The audience then welcomed two of the choir's international participants from Mexico. They joined in the closing musical numbers, including the Mexican favorite, Cielito Lindo. Wow, I think when the choir started like, singing in Spanish, it was, I was so amazing. It's just like something special in our hearts for everyone. I think the, the feeling that we had, it was in all the Auditorio Nacional. The energy was as high as I've ever felt anywhere. I think we anticipated coming thinking that we're giving this gift, but in return we're getting so much more. We are leaving with more than we brought. This is an amazing experience. I'm so humbled. Yeah.